molested and sexually abused when you was a boy by some nasty pervert in your family. And that's why you don't like yourself. Jesus loves you and God want you to love you. You are somebody special. Ha! You are somebody special, my brother. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Love yourself. You might have been bound by demons. You might have lost your job. God can give you a better job and make you the boss. <laughs> When you put God first, they make you the head and not the tail. God can save the homosexual on the street because he loves that homosexual. You might have got sodomized when you was a boy. That's why you might have turned that way. Jesus still loves you. He doesn't love the sin, but he loves you. Even men who are straight. We're not better than you. I'm not better than nobody. We all have sin. I probably made more mistakes than you did. I mean, and being a Christian, sometimes we still make mistakes. Why? Because we're not perfect. The devil put temptation out here. But when you fall, you can get back up. And God is right there to forgive you. Just forgive yourself. Make sure when God forgives you, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Some of you get a hard time forgiving yourself. Jesus forgave you, so why can't you forgive you? Praise the Lord. Many are wrestling with flashbacks from the past when you got abused when you was a boy. Our girl, you got verbally abused. You're wrestling with these flashbacks. And even though you're educated, but you're still hurting on the inside. And nobody knows it, but God knows it. No wonder God sent me here today. God told me to preach one time in Mitchell. And there was a girl who was just about to kill herself. When she heard the gospel, she changed her mind. There was a man about, about to jump off the roof and, was, and when they heard the gospel, he changed his mind and he didn't kill himself. That's what the gospel would do. The gospel would heal your broken heart. All you got to do is have a conversation with Jesus. I'm not here to judge you. God is a judge, not me. God is judging me too. If I don't live right, I'm going to hell too. <laughs> I got to live what I preach. No, we're not perfect. If you make a mistake, just say, Lord, help me. Give me strength. He'll give you strength. When you get discouraged, God will encourage you. Hallelujah. Ha! I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. God will give you a joy that drugs cannot give you. Don't need no crack. Run the way Christ is at. Don't need no dope. God is a great hope. Don't need no cocaine. Get in God's domain. That rhymes. I like that. You get in God's domain. You're set you free from crack and cocaine. Wow. I feel the Holy Ghost. Jesus loves you. I'm going to pray for you today. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for your awesome presence. I thank God for my friend right here who joined me today. We thank God for the children who joined me today. All those who are with me today. I'm praying for you today. If you've been bound by demon spirits, God can deliver your mind right now. I'm praying peace over your mind. If you're bound by evil spirits, I'm praying peace over your mind right now. You may have some idols you may throw away in your house because that stuff got demons on it and, it's, and it draws evil spirits in your house. Throw away the idols and pick up the Bible and you'll see things get better. God bless you, my brother. Good to see you. Hallelujah. Thank you, my brother. I see greatness in you too. All of y'all here today. Praise the Lord. God bless all of y'all walking down the street today. We pray for broken marriages. Love God bless you. Love God first more than you love each other. A marriage that prays together will stay together. The devil don't want marriage to work. He wants to fight, argue, have domestic violence, and kill each other. That's not, that's not what God wants. That's a Jerry Springer show type of stuff. God don't want you to kill each other. I pray that God will fix your marriage. If you got your wife fighting against you, that ain't the right one. You don't want no wife being a gold digger. That's not love. She just wants your fucking money. You don't want no wife like that. That's a knife, not a wife. Right, right, brother? God bless you. You don't want no man beating on you. You don't want no husband beating on you. You getting abused? Love each other. Touch our children. God bless the little boy. I see greatness in that young boy's life. He's going to be a preacher one day. <laughs> God can use a littlest child like that. God bless the mother. God bless the little boy right there with his basketball. And bless my brother right here standing here today. God bless him. The atmosphere. It's, Jesus is right here in the atmosphere. The peace of God. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Ha, I feel the Holy Ghost. It's right here. 
God want to give you a joy that crack cannot give you. Just repent of your sins and say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. I don't want to go to hell. God don't want to see nobody go to hell. He want to see you go to heaven to be with him. But there's no more dying, no more sorrow, and no more sickness. Praise the Lord. Don't you want to get there to be with Jesus?